Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. CCL TV are delighted to be here at the TFS Summit in Dubai. Joining me today is Michael from TechCargo Italy. Michael, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Too. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. It's so nice to see people face to face, yes, isn't it? it I kind it, of feel like everyone is so excited about it. Yes, it is. And uh, it, it's also important. I think it's something that I, I missed a lot for the past years. So <laughs> uh, now, now it's a good opportunity really to, to have face to face meeting, meet the people and say, uh, we are here, we are ready to, to restart again. Yeah. And that is when a lot of the business happens, isn't it? Like the, the socializing Correct. element is, is a big part of Correct. it. Correct. I think relationship is uh, one of the best part of our business. So everything starts from there. Of course, that you need to make the, the, the business done in the right way, of course. Uh, but when, when you meet people and you, you build a relationship, it's something that goes over. So yeah. it's very important. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, a funny way, isn't it? So you can say to your colleagues, look, we need to go to the club tonight because we've got to do business. Correct. <laughs> so tell me more about you and your background. How did, how did you get involved with Tech Cargo? Um, I'm in Tech Cargo since September, actually. Uh, I, I do this business since 15 years now because I was a professional rugby player before oh, wow. till 22 years old. Then I, I got injured, very bad one. Mm. So I, I started with my, my mom's company. She had uh, an international removal company. I worked there for one and a half year. After that, I moved to Australia for one year. I worked there for um, a freight forwarding company, one year, then I came back. I worked for five years as an MVOCC, Coloder, and after that I became um, Air and Ocean Director of another company called Codognotto, five years there, and then I met Massimo Mazzantini, he is the owner of Tecargo, and now we are, uh, we are business partner since September last year. Oh wow, so you've really been around the world as well with... with... Mm, yes, uh, I used to travel a lot, like yeah. four or five uh, trips per year. So uh, when, when I studied, I, I was the, 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 the man to, to handle with all the agents worldwide. Yeah. So when you were playing rugby, was logistics and this, this kind of industry, was that in the back of your head? or mm, Not really. No, 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 no. But when, when I got injured uh, at age of 22, basically I, I decided to, to quit rugby because it was it was not the right choice to, to keep going. Mm. Uh, you can play till uh, 34, 35 if you're lucky. Mm. Uh, so I decided to, to quit. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, you, you wouldn't have been of, here in Dubai, would you? So. Yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us about how COVID has affected you. What's it like to be traveling again? Um, COVID in, in, in the past uh, one and a half year, has been a disaster, I would say, mm. for the uh, uh, eco economic worldwide. But um, it, it sounds strange, but it has been a good year for uh, us as freight for water. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we had to uh, change the way to work as we had to fight on each shipment to find space because uh, all the uh, ship owner they decided to um, reduce the space so the requests went up yeah. so it, it was very difficult to find space regarding uh, the sea shipments and also on the uh, air freight there were no uh, more flights PAX flights so uh, it has been very tough mm. uh, but at the end of the day uh, the costs went up the margins went up mm -hmm. as well, so it has been so far a good a good year. Uh, the worst part is, of course, about the uh, economic situation uh, worldwide, and, and the fact that you cannot travel. Many companies closed up. Yeah. So uh, we we need a uh, 2022 uh, ready to 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 grow again. Yeah. Well, you can kind That's of feel that it's already getting slightly yes. back to normal yes. so yeah hopefully yes, yes. Hopefully I, I'm, next year. I'm sure 100 percent next year will be will be great yeah is this your first trip your first conference uh, this is my first conference uh, of the freight summit mm -hmm. yes yeah uh, two years ago massimo mazzantini joined it right okay yes, and partner. and what are you most looking forward to about the event uh, I, I look forward to, to just to meet people and make networking and find a good partner for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we are very strong and we, we have good partner right now, 
but we are always open to 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 meet new agents and build a relationship because mm -hmm. the business is growing so fast for us yeah so we are lucky have that. you noticed any new trends within the industry through throughout covid and or in general uh, mm, frankly speaking what i notice more is the fact that mm, two years ago uh, the relationship with the direct customer was a bit different why you were giving them let's say uh, a rate with a validity of a month or three months six months whatever it is and the customer was working with you because of your service because they know you etc the costs of course uh, after the pandemic every single shipment became a war mm. <laughs> so because of course the cost went up like five six seven ten times yeah. more and the the customer were not ready to 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 spend, spend so that. much money and they try to shop around mm -hmm. uh, this is the the fact uh, to to try to find someone cheaper than you yeah so that 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 changed completely uh, since two years uh, two years ago so what's th what what do you see in the future how is that going to change are the prices just going to continue to rise <sighs> the, the, the good question <laughs> i don't have the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the um the, the <laughs> Uh, crystal ball. Crystal ball. <laughs> um, I think that the prices will stay up till the end of 2022. Uh, but the main problem is when the uh, vessels will be empty. Mm. Because m many, many companies <laughs> are closing. They are not importing anymore. Uh, so uh, ship owner m must be careful, mm. you know. I think that when the request will go down a bit, the prices will yeah. go down again. Yeah. Excellent. Well, and also, lastly, what are your thoughts about CCL TV being here with Freight Forward? I think this is a good opportunity for us to, to have a quick chat as well. And uh, it's the first time I, I hear about you. And uh, I really thank you for uh, joining me here together. And uh, I think it's, a, it's a, good, uh, a good idea. Well, thanks for being here. And what club are we going to tonight? Uh, tonight, I think <laughs> I'm going to rest. <laughs> so... Thanks. Thanks so much for being here. Thank it's really you. lovely Thank to see you. Thank you. you.